We have arrived at the border post between South Africa and Botswana. The South African side is for, called Kopsfontein and the Botswana side is called Tolsweg border post. From there we're going on to Gaborone and we're going to spend the night in Gaborone and then we're going to go ahead to Kama Rhino about uh, 400 k's further on. Where are we now, Baz? Yep, so uh, we are in Botswana. We've just come out of Gaborone, going to Saroa. So uh, we've planned this trip for a while now. Actually, Reggie has planned this trip for a while, and Susan and I decided to jump in on the bandwagon. So we're going to make a little video of this trip so everybody can know where we've been. We're going to uh, head up uh, through the Kalahari Desert. But every, every stop we make, we'll give you a little inkling of where we've been and what we're doing. So you need to know who's all on this trip. Well, there's me. And then we can go over to the faithful driver, whose name is Reginald, my brother. How are you doing there? Enjoying <laughs> the trip. And in the back seat, we have Nella and Susan, our wives. <laughs> okay, so they stuck back there, but hey, they have all the comforts of home. As much jerky as they can eat, and as much soda water as they can drink. We've arrived at Carmo Rhino Sanctuary yes, and we just uh, gonna find our campsite which is number three. It's pretty sandy but it's doable. We should be there in a, in a few minutes. So we're now in Carmo Rhino. Basil just went to go and get some wood. This is our camp setup. So yeah we're getting there. All right, let's have a better look from this side, yeah. Well, the sun goes down pretty quick and we had to move it because it's hard uh, putting up a, a campsite in the dark. But we settled in nicely now. Well, we set up camp. I didn't have time to video it because the sun went down really fast and we had to get things done. But now we're cooking a meal that the girls prepared. We're going to have to shine a light in there, Susan. Oh, it's going to be lovely. Hey, Sue. Yep. Look at Sue, see? She's got a little head thing on. Looking cool. <laughs> well, it's early morning in Karma Rhino, and we've had a great night's sleep. And we're just getting ready to have something to eat for breakfast. And then we have to pack up and leave for the CKGR. We only spent one night here, and we haven't had a chance to go around this park. But it's no big loss for us because we've been in this park two or three times before. A beautiful park with a lot of game and especially of course rhino because this is a rhino sanctuary and there are other many other animals. In Kami Rhino and we're leaving Kami Rhino now. Getting back onto the road. Turn and left on <laughs> 314. And where are we going, Rich? We're going to to Kapo. Yeah, some concrete models, I guess, of the animals. Elephant, there's a giraffe at the back there, kudu, zebra, some spot. I think it's a water buck over there. Buffalo. And there's a lion. We just left Saroa and we're on our way to uh, CKGR, which is about 437 kilometers away from us. We got uh, filled a few, two tanks of fuel and we made sure we had all the water 
and we stocked up any other supplies that we needed. So it's we all getting ready for a great trip in the desert. Okay, we're gonna go into the central Kalahari. And I think our campsite is uh, CK5. So we're gonna get there at 2.30. Now, eh? what is it? It's a dung beetle. Oh, let's go have a look. Hmm. Stinks, eh? Yeah, it's the animal. Hmm. Where are you going? You didn't make it very round, so it's not running very smoothly. I think we may have to help him off the road so we don't run over him. That's our track. Is it Chandra? The cowboy goes away and knock him out of the way. We ain't stopping for him. <laughs> There's his mommy over there. That's guinea fell down there. As we are approaching the gate, the road is very, very corrugated and we have to go really slowly because there's a lot of vibration coming through the truck. Everything went smoothly through the Maswiri gate and we're on our way to uh, Sunday Pan. We have about another 30 kilometers to go and but the sand is really thick and it's slow going. We'll see how it goes. We're coming up to our campsite. It was further than we expected. It's, uh, it's 10 to 7 now and we are freaking going 15 kilometers an hour. That's three. That's three. So, so this is our campsite at uh, the central Kalahari and uh, last night we got you really late, late as you could tell and then we set up in the morning so this is our campsite we came with a trailer we needed a trailer because we were heavy with water and we needed the extra splay and on the top of the trailer is a uh, pop out tent that you see on most 4x4 vehicles that have them on the roof and in the background there you can see a um, four man tent that I use for uh, my wife and myself and uh, this is the truck it's a 2018 uh, Ranger XLS 2.2 diesel engine and it's kitted out with the sliding draw system and you can see in the back of the truck there we have all the water, most of the water. There's a water tank at the back and then you've got those four big canisters and we have another big canister and a couple of other bars. The blue strap is holding the water tank on the truck. Fridge down here, freezer fridge powered by 12 volts or 220 volts but we have 12 volt power pack and we have an inverter as well. The power pack is uh, connected to that battery down there. And we uh, charge it with the truck while we're running. When we stop, like we are now with such a sunny day, we use these uh, solar panels to charge. These are two 100 watt solar panels. And uh, it was a really comfortable ride. We were loaded though, we were heavy. And uh, we have a little kitchen set up here with Nella and my wife Susan over there. 
The Sunday pan has two campsites, four and five, and uh, we're in number four. Pretty isolated actually, but a lot of area to use, and it's secluded, which is really great. We like the privacy. We traveled uh, what, 30k to the uh, CKR gate uh, where we signed in and then we came into the uh, park itself and then it was 60k until we reached this campsite and uh, quite honestly we thought we had taken the wrong road because it was kind of like getting really dark and we didn't realize it was, was that far. Um, the roads were sandy and sometimes they were pretty, they had gutters and everything and we had to climb through them. and. Anyway, we finally got here. Uh, thank goodness there wasn't any, there hasn't been rain here for a long time, so it was pretty dry. And then from there we, uh, we finally got to this campsite. I think it was like seven o'clock at night. So we had to set up, set up camp in, in the nighttime, which is never uh, happy because you can hardly find anything. And, you know, we never left torches out, so we had to hunt for the torches before we could start. But, but we did it. Uh, we finally got everything set up. And uh, so now, we slept the night, it was good. You can see behind me, we set up the camp. We've got uh, the fridges are running great. We have the solar panels which are uh, charging our batteries and everything's great. So today what we will do is we'll go around the pan. We're gonna to go to a couple of pans in, this, in, in the central Kalahari. We're here for two days. So we're gonna travel around this pan today and see what we can see. We saw some game on the way in yesterday, but not a, not a, um, a great lot. I think we saw some RB. Uh, we saw guinea fowl, but I think... So in the campsites in CKGR, they have some facilities there. As you can see by those buildings, I'll take a closer look at it now. But that's the toilet and the shower. It's just basically an enclosed area. The toilet is a long drop. And the shower is um, a bucket on a string. Well, let's go and have a look. So this is the toilet, and uh, surprisingly, it's pretty comfortable. It's, there's no great smell. You go in this little round thing, and uh, there's the uh, toilet there. There's no smell, as I say. It's uh, dry. Everything's good, and it's uh, great to have somewhere to go. At least you don't have to dig a hole in the ground. If you come over here. You can see the shower, the little white thing over there is the bucket. Fortunately, um, we brought a lot of water, so we have, and what we do is we have a little 12 volt water pump and we just pump the water into that bucket, fill it up. So I'm going to give you a view from the campsite down to the um, pan. If you look down there, that big open space, in the distance that is the that's the pan we'll drive around there that's the end of this little talk and uh, i'll uh, get back to you later
look there, Rich. It's one of those very, very rare up yours, mate. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the same sort of face as a squirrel. I don't know, yeah. Maybe a chipmunk. A chipmunk, yeah. Two of them. Two jackals. In the back there. Yeah. Actually, it's a springbuck. Look at the horns. Is it a springbuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. See yeah. how the horns go together? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are and yeah, he's a wildebeest on his own. Look at buddy, I'm gonna bother you. Well, yeah, we are at Sunday Pad CK3 and 4. And we've just ridden around the whole pan and leopard pan. And we're back about two kilometers from our site. And if uh, Susan pans to her left, then she'll see the water hole. And that's where we're coming tonight um, to watch all the game come down to drink. Well, what have we seen, Rich? We've seen uh, Horik yeah. or uh, Kim's Bucky. Yeah, that's the same. And then a black, black back jackal. Yep. Um, which another one. one looked like a fox to me. It was too small. Looked like a fox. And we saw one bird that was. Uh, uh, was pretty, we didn't get a picture of it. Yeah, there was a falcon in a tree, but there was a bird on the ground that doesn't look like oh, it's from no. this area yeah, at all. Looks like it's from Canada. And Immigrant got lost. <laughs> <laughs> got lost. And uh, yeah, and ostriches. There were ostriches. We saw one wildebeest. Yeah, one wildebeest. A couple and of one water, water buck, uh, springbuck, right? Springbuck, yes, spring springbuck, and then Impala are just behind us here now. And we saw, saw a couple of, um, what do you call this, these prairie dogs, what do you call them? Oh yeah, well, ground dogs is what you would say they are, because they, they ground squirrels. Yeah, Yeah. Ground squirrels. Yep, we saw a lot of uh, thorn trees, a lot of dust, it's been a great morning. And those little foxes? Yeah. Jackals? I don't think they were foxes. Jackals? Well, cheers, everybody. Yeah. And they also that we saw that one uh, eyeball eagle thing. <laughs> this year is a solar panel set up activated by radio signal and it drives pumps for a borehole which pumps water into that pond back there for the animals it's so dry in the Kalahari that's why we brought in 180 liters of water for nine days it's as dry as a boneyard I did see one mosquito and it was hanging around the um, the long drop back in the camp so they really try and help the animals survive. If they didn't have subsistence, the animals would die of thirst, which a lot of them do. A lot of places don't supply the water anymore. They say if nature can't survive, then they'll adapt. This is sunrise in the Kalahari Desert. So this morning we left Sunday Pan after spending two days and we we're on our way to Passage Valley campsite number three. So it's going to be a long trip but it's going to be enjoyable.
Now this is one of the headaches for uh, four-wheel drive vehicles. So yesterday we moved from Sunday pan. Hey Reg, you got the kettle on? Beautiful morning, eh? Did you hear those lions last night? Yeah. No, this morning, no, no. Well, have a look at the spore on the ground here. She says walking around the camp last night. So yesterday we moved from Sunday pan to Passage. And uh, we set up camp. It was a long trip, longer than we expected. It was about 45k. The roads were pretty slow though. So yeah, we are at Passage campsite number two in the central Kalahari. And that's the shower. I'm moving out into the sun a bit and the loo. And then our noisy neighbors, the tree birds. We come down in the place of fire. That's the birds, and that's the tents, uh, Basil and Sue's home, there's Basil and Sue, there's the good old faithful that got us here, our gazebo as well, and then I'm zooming in there, there's Nella, the background, and Sue, and guess what Basil's doing? We had some visitors today, these are the guys that, uh, and they're on their way to Cairo. But I had the same thing in Canada, but I, I we were leaving the US, going to Canada. And there's a stop sign with a, with a light, you know? And uh, so I stopped there, the, the first guy. Beautiful, eh? It's a rock on a tree, but it's amazing me how real life it looks, eh? Check that. Looking good. Yeah. Uh, we thought the lines were ahead of us towards the main passage uh, flay, uh, but in actual fact, we forgot that the lion's voice echoes. So we'd missed him. And uh, that's sad. But apart from that, yeah, it's a uh, passage is, is a very nice flat open pan. Uh, but today there weren't, there was not uh, um, too many uh, antelope on there. Um, we saw some springboks and we saw two um, hemsbok, uh, but not as much as what we had seen at leopard pan or Sunday pan. So yeah, maybe earlier in the morning or later in the evening it'll be fuller. And um, but the sand, the road going there is quite heavy going, and I'm a little bit worried pulling the trailer tomorrow. We'll have to. We, I don't want to let down the tires yet because we've got quite a heavy load. If I let down the tires, it puts extreme pressure on the sidewalls. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but if we have to, that's what we'll do.
Reach is getting some diving directions from these guys. Also, the condition of the road. Because we're pulling a trailer, we have to watch the sand tracks. Well, this is the 3rd of May. And guess whose anniversary it is? Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Congratulations, Rich! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, Bex! There we go! Too soon! Cheers, Bex! So, this is our last night at Passage, Campsite 3. And uh, we're leaving early tomorrow morning. Now then tomorrow we'll go to Piper, which is 80 kilometers away. It's going to take you a good eight, hour, eight hours, I'm sure. But anyway, there's the sunset. The wonderful sunset. What a beautiful day today. Sun all day. The weather is... It was 31 this afternoon. Now it's about 27. We are enjoying a fire and a couple of beers. Hi, thanks for watching the first episode of uh, our travels through Southern Africa. We've just uh, covered the first five days in Botswana, most of it spent in the CKGR. If you like this program, please subscribe and click like and you will see the next episode as soon as it comes out. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.